oh, yeah, I'll take the job to buy startup. Um, and May 16th, 2011, I joined the administration. And you're talking to someone who never thought they'd say the words, I'm joining an administration. <laughs> um, and so what did we walk into? Um, so <clears throat> this is, you know, believe it or not, that is me, a somewhat younger version of me chasing chickens on my wife's farm. Um, and that's what it was like coming in. Because historically, data had not been people's friends, right? And in a variety of ways. Like I like to use the BGA salary example. I like to talk about how we had a, a data portal that, that was, in fact, very small. Um, yet there was really a fear of data. And then coupled with sort of the silos, which we'll talk about, um, and how a city didn't build their data in, in a way that made sense from the enterprise. So I remember the, so we all went to the inauguration, and um, which was great. And then we walked back to the mayor's office, and I got my office assignment. I sit down at my computer, and I had that sort of, OK, what do I do now? Um, and there's a bit of a pause, and then, you, you know, and, and then it started. And I realized um, it wasn't going to be easy. It, it was going to be a complex type of project. But what's the most important thing? And I, I talk about this when I'm, I'm talking about more sort of uh, prediction and, and data mining pieces within the enterprise. It's the right executive sponsor. Because when you have, like, one nugget, so there's a couple nuggets I want you to get. One, sort of the importance you folks have played in this, but two, the, the role of Mayor Emanuel. So I came in as kind of like startup dude who was then a cop who's kind of radical, who has sort of like, a, I'm kind of unfiltered and I swear a lot. Um, and But Mayor Emanuel had said, this is a priority. And that allowed a model like that to be successful here. But it was, in fact, chasing chickens. Um, so let's talk about some of the details. Um, so, oops, again, can you back up to it? So, all right, let's talk about data silos. Um, so, when you have a city like Chicago, um, Chicago has been probably middle of the road with information technology. Um, you know, we've, we've been proud to sort of make investments. Um, we haven't really been all the way out front, but we haven't been a laggard. Where things get challenging is technology was built at the department level, right? So you have the Department of Streets and Sand. They do, you know, garbage and rodents and things like that. And they would have their own technology, right? Then you have the police and they built their technology. Finance has theirs. And that can work OK for a bit, um, because you're able to have your narrow function, which is done. And you can probably survive when sort of finances are good. But what happens when times get tough, right? Then you don't really have the consultant horde to keep it going, and you're starting to second guess things. So two things happen. One, you realize, hey, it doesn't make sense for five different departments to have five different ways of doing things, right? Like, who does that? That makes no sense. Why would you have five different? I'm just going to mess with your streaming. So sorry. Um, so why would you have five different flavors of databases? Like we, like Tom has to deal with this. Like, how many people in here have heard of Paradox? Okay, that's not what it's supposed to be. Like, you know, that makes no sense. So, but Paradox, Access, Oracle, MySQL, Postgres, like, do you really need that many flavors? Is that how you do an enterprise correctly? But you have these different flavors, and then when you start running out of money, how do you maintain them all? Because you can keep things on, but can you do them well? Can you keep them fast? Can you keep them secure? Can, can they do what they need to do? But, OK, forget that piece. Consider your silos. How many people in here, when you think about crime, think that's just a police issue? OK, good. If you raise your hand, you just be kicked out. Like, Dan would come drag you out. 
This is, in government, we need to learn to think about things in an interdisciplinary way, right? And that isn't how we designed our IT. We designed things so that each department has their own technology. So if I am the police department and I have my transactional systems, then why, you know, I need to be able to take those pieces and combine it with, say, economic, say, schools, say, Department of Buildings, all of these different pieces, because problems in government are interdisciplinary, but that isn't how we architected it. So in order to do this, part of this is to bring it together, right? And that's one of the things many of you know Tom Shank here, and if you don't know him, you should know him, because his job is to carry this torch, is to bring, get rid of silos, bring the data together, because it lets you do two important things. You do it correctly in an enterprise perspective. You can't do the five flavors. But also, if you're trying to work on an urban problem, then you need to be able to get what you need for the different facets of the problem. Clearly, there needs to be governance. Clearly, there are laws. We deal with FERPA, we deal with HIPAA, we deal with CGIS. Fine. But we have challenged notions. So this is funny. Um, early in my career, someone said to me, for one of the restricted data uh, sources, they said, well, that database needs to be in a separate data center because it has federal regulations on it. <coughs> I'm not going to, because we're on streaming video, I'm not going to give you my exact response, but that is nonsense. That is one of the things we have all challenged in government, that you are able to do things where you can bring the data together, you apply governance, you apply security, but it can cohabitate. You're able to do it smarter and, and still do it legally. But there has been a culture of fear, and this is one of the things that we've been able to turn around in Chicago to show that you can get to the point where things are together, you're not in violation of the law and people don't need to be afraid. So, um, 